Well, hello everybody and welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your April 2021 new love reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus singles. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I truly do appreciate all of your likes, shares, subscribes, your wonderful energy. So this is a general and intuitive reading as always, not a one-on-one, -on -one, and there will be a lot of messages coming out. Not everything will resonate with all of you. Just take the parts of the reading that pertain to your personal situation and leave the rest behind. All right, let's see where we go. We're going to start out the reading with the overall energy. This is Tarot of the Heart, major, uh, major arcana only, uh, specifically for romance and love. So let's see what we've got here thank you very much what else do we need to know for cancer for april 2021 please we'll take that one as well so first out we have hope all right love that energy this card this deck has a few extra cards hope faith and charity and hope is one of them we also have judgment coming out for you and i'm gonna get wow okay i was gonna get one more we're getting two more <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me so we have the empress and the fool coming out there as well for you okay so we have the hope card coming out now this is for some of you the return of love okay uh not all of you singles out there are uh looking to have anyone come back into your life some people are uh considering a possible reconciliation with an ex okay you might be in uh, separation you may have been in separation for quite some time okay um you know but this energy can also sometimes represent uh, a love from a past life as well does not have to be this one okay so if you have been um pining and hoping and praying for some reconciliation okay with somebody uh it, that you have been in separation with okay we do have judgment coming out here as well okay so some of you may be able to reconcile with uh that person okay um for the rest of you though okay their love is in the air it is a very magical time when this card comes out for you very uh a time of restoration okay magic um Sometimes this is leaving behind the old and maintaining that hope and positivity that there is new love coming in. Okay, so love is all around you at this time. All right. And uh, of course, we do have, of course, the judgment card coming out here, too. So uh, for one, this card in this deck means love's recognition. Okay, uh, sometimes the uh, review of recognition um, of the past uh, really brings about um, brings about some appreciation okay from where you've been where you are and where you want to go in the future the uh, the judgment card is uh, quite often about a past review letting things go so that you can move forward and um, uh, and welcome in anything new so some of you you're really letting the past go you're really doing some cord cutting uh, cord cutting um, meditations, uh, energetic healing, that kind of thing. Some of you, if you do have somebody that uh, does call you up out of the blue, okay, it feels as though some of you may just need to get a little bit of closure just to finally let them go so that you can move on with your life, all right? Because um, sometimes this, uh, this judgment energy can be second chances, okay? He, uh, recon um, uh, reconciliation, okay? But it also means fresh starts, okay? So it's kind of like uh, a bit of a dual energy, okay? Um, in this particular deck, okay, judgment also uh, means that you may have a friend who can actually uh, become a lover, a love interest, okay? Friendship can turn romantic. So uh, that, of course, won't be for all of you there, but um, for some of you there, uh, I feel that you may already know, okay? There might be some sort of underlying chemistry. This may be somebody that you've known for quite a while, maybe someone that's just an acquaintance that you've, you know, bumped into over the last couple of years, kind of through other friends there, and... Uh, you know, they're a bit of an acquaintance. You might, you know, have some chats with them in a social situation, um, but nothing ever really happens. They're just kind of, uh, they're just kind of there in your social circle. And so for some of you, that can um, take a different direction. Okay. 
so <clears throat> excuse me we have the empress card coming out here as well all right now um, the empress is absolutely the epitome of love okay abundance of love all around you really a second uh uh, second energy that love is in the air okay so whether you are welcoming in the brand new something from a past life or even reconciliation with someone from this life love is all around this energy is all about fertility and family okay uh, love security um, and this is an energy to remind you to nurture all of your relationships okay so whether that's yourself your friends your family and also of course any kind of new love coming in um the empress of, of course like i said is abundance of love love is in the air and of course we are in spring and it just feels as though people are coming out of the winter shadows and you know people are you know uh coming out with um there's more hope in the air in the world okay and we've been through some very dark times and we're not out of the weeds quite yet all right but uh it just feels as though there's just that energy of people springing to life right now and uh, uh i always <clears throat> excuse me the empress card is very close very attached to mother nature and um whenever i get the empress card in this deck it's just kind of like budding spring flowers chatting um Sorry, uh, cherry blossoms on trees, that daffodils growing, that kind of that kind of energy, just all springing to life there. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have the fool here as well. So um, the fool is new. Okay, new love, new adventures. Uh, the potential is all around for brand new love here right now for you. Okay, so um, is you know so reconciliation, brand new. Uh, the fool is also new adventures. It's time to discover love. Okay, uh, with the fool energy in this particular deck, this also is an energy that some of you may end up. Um, whether it's a reconciliation with somebody um, or whether it's someone brand new, there may be a um, a short short lived relationship coming in for you. But it feels as though <clears throat> it feels as though it's not not in like negative any kind of negative energy. What it actually feels like is um, almost like a, just a bit of an adventure. Um, and we all need different relationships at different times in our lives, right? And, uh, you know, not uh, not everyone is necessarily looking for a long term love. Right. So um, that fool is that energy of just um, almost like a I want to say a summertime fling, even though we're not in summertime, but it's it's got that kind of energy around it for those of you who are looking for something um, just short lived, but it feels as though it'll be very positive, very fun, and it'll just run its course in a in a fairly short time. Right. But it's like almost like um, it's the medicine that you need at the moment. Okay. Especially if you've been doing a lot of healing along the way. Okay. And it's almost like it's kind of oddly enough, like on your path to healing and on your path to love. So very interesting energy. So I'm just going to pull a card on, um, on uh, this hope and judgment. Okay. Let's just uh, have a quick look and see what we've got there. Uh, clarify hope for me, please. What else do we need to know about hope? Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, Three of Wands. Okay, so there is definitely new coming in here with the Ace of Cups after a uh, tumultuous time, after some ups and downs, some stops and starts. We've got brand new love coming in here. The Ace of Cups is always a gift from spirit. And we can see this hand bursting out of these tumultuous clouds, okay? This is the holy grail of love, all right? Um, a gift, okay? Something brand new coming in, something that allows some uh, peace. And this, um, uh, it's a genuine offer of love, okay? This is something brand new that restores your hope okay restores your hope for uh for the new for what's to come uh this is something that can lead to long-term commitment if that is what you choose okay with the seven of cups it feels as though um for some of you the the um you may have more than one opportunity okay the seven of cups is really about um having a lot of options having a lot of choices okay and uh sometimes it can be about being a little bit overwhelmed Okay, so it's almost as though uh, sometimes with the Seven of Cups that there can be 
uh, not only is there an uh, abundance of opportunities around you, okay, it feel it's, um, you know, quite often is a uh, hesitation, a fear to make a decision, uh, make a choice just in case you choose the wrong one, right? What if I choose wrong? What if I choose this opportunity that turns out to be, you know, a snake, right? You know, what if, you know, but on the other hand, I can choose, you know, this one with the victory reef, right? So, you know, what happens with that? Spirit is guiding you here, okay? As long as you listen to your heart with the seven of cups and, um, you know, there's a saying, uh, Shakespeare, okay, with the seven of cups, to thine own heart be true, okay? Always follow your heart, always do what is best for you, because if you do that and if you listen to your intuition, follow your heart, the heart wants what the heart wants, right? And you cannot go wrong, okay? There's spiritual guidance there for you as well, and this allows you to take steps to move forward to the future. The three of wands is an expansion energy, and it's one of uh, not just uh, making plans for the future, not just looking out onto the horizon, but also being ready to take action. Okay, so it feels as though, you know, once you really decide, okay, that you're ready for the new love, that you really want something in, um, some of you may be doing like some online dating um, you know, or really involved in a social situation somewhere. Um, something that gives you a lot of options, a lot of opportunities out there, okay? But something that can also um, have you just a little bit uh, hesitant, okay? So it's uh, quite often, uh, quite often that's, um, you know, online dating sometimes, okay? And that's the internet can quite often be a very scary um, and uh, <clears throat> a very scary and um, uh, unknown place, right? Like, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff out there. There's lots of illusion, okay, that comes with the uh, with the internet, right? And uh, you know, it's certainly a lot more commonplace now. Um, but there's still, um, you know, you can still get burned a little bit, right? So, um, you know, always just um, really follow your heart there. Judgment. We've got the fool coming out again. Okay, the fool is brand new. Release the past. Okay, release those energetic ties if. Uh, if that's what's holding you back, okay, and uh, there's new adventures waiting for you. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and then we've also got the King of Swords, okay. So, <clears throat> there's hope on the horizon for you here with this Judgment card, okay. Um, I'm clarifying the energy because I'm just wanting to see, um, you know, where we might have someone from the past coming back, and I'm honestly really not seeing it right now, okay. It's really all about the new Hope with that Ace of Cups, all about the new. Um, judgment with the Fool, <laughs> you can't get any newer than the Fool, okay? Now pay attention to sign symbol synchronicities here because the Fool is showing up twice in your reading, okay? So quite significant. They're really, uh, spirits really wanting to emphasize new, 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 new adventure. Leave the past behind, look forward, right? The Fool is really full of, um, full of energy, full of innocence, full of vigor, um, a, a zest for life, okay, a quest for new adventure, but this is also a leap of faith is required here, right? So, you know, answer that call, listen to your guidance. Um, you know, if someone does come back from the past, it feels as though, um, it feels as though for, um, you know, for, it feels as though it's really, uh, closure, okay? Um, you might need to find, uh, forgiveness, find it in your heart to forgive and let go, okay? Um, and uh, that way it really clears the path for you for the new. And again, you know, three, three different energies already with um, emphasizing the new, okay? So there's new adventures on the horizon where you've been feeling as though you're out in the cold. You've been by yourself. You've been lonely. Uh, you've been putting yourself out there and nothing is happening. The five of pentacles in reverse, okay? It's, um, this is really uh, pulling you inside, okay? Really, um, uh showing you that there is light at the end of that tunnel, okay? Um, and the there is a new adventure in sight, so keep going, keep moving forward, don't give up, okay? Some of you may be getting some sort of spiritual guidance coming in there with that Five of Pentacles, okay? But uh, you're starting to come out of that energy, so, um, and we're seeing quite a lot of this, right? Especially um, with it becoming springtime. And, uh, you know, for some people, it's been, especially with the pandemic, it's been a very weird winter. And some of you have really felt, um, you know, very isolated. 
Okay, especially, you know, I mean, quite honestly, the pandemic has not been kind to singles out there, okay? It's made it very, very difficult to meet new people. But we've got the King of Swords here as well, okay? So, um, you know, I'm getting two different energies from this King of Swords. For one, I'm getting that this is somebody new coming into your life, okay? Uh, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Libra energy, okay? Somebody who is very, uh, very mature, very successful, very wise, okay? Someone who knows what they want, knows how to get it and they speak up okay they don't um they don't uh hesitate um you know it feels as though uh they always speak their truth okay and uh they have a very good way with words okay so uh and it feels like they want to go on a new adventure with you right so this really um you know it may with this five of pentacles being in reverse right in the middle there it feels as though um it may take you a while to warm up to this person, um, you know, and spirit reminds you with this, with the fool, that this work does require that leap of faith. You are being spiritually guided here with, um, with that judgment card, and it feels as though um, spirit is bringing you something, bringing you a person, a brand new, fresh start. Because I mean, quite honestly, I wouldn't turn down the King of Swords. Okay, um, the King of Swords also is um, very much, uh, very, very intuitive. Okay, very, uh, very much in touch with that side of um uh, spiritual energy okay so um you know and they again they see clarity and purpose in everything okay now this king of swords i am also getting that this is you as well okay um and this represents you really coming into your own power really coming into your own clarity uh, a sense of purpose, okay, clarity of purpose is really coming in here and that helps you bring your, bring yourself up out of um, any kind of feelings of lack, stagnation, um, you know, any kind of feelings of negativity and it's really, um, you know, again with this, uh, with this uh, fool energy, I'm really highlighting this sun energy here, really shining down upon you, beating, beating upon your face, right? And, uh, you know, really heading out to some new adventures there. So I really do like that energy for you. Okay, so let's continue on. All right, what else does Cancer need to know, please? Messages for Cancer, please. What else do we need to know for new love for April 2021? New love, please. Ooh, there we go. There's one. <laughs> and we have Ice Queen. Yeah, so if there is uh if there is anyone that is coming back from the past for you at all, okay, you're you're really not having any of it. Okay, you're not gonna welcome them back well with uh that ice queen energy. Okay, uh you're gonna turn your you, it feels as though you're gonna turn your back on them, right? You are not warm and warm and welcoming with that person at all, okay, and um you know you're really uh, you know, it feels as though you uh, you may talk to them, okay, but you're really, again, that, that purpose would be for closure, okay? That purpose would be for your uh, mental health, your spiritual health, your heart health even, okay? And it feels as though you're like, nope, all kinds of nope, nope, I'm ready to leave you behind. I'm looking forward to something new, something fresh, something that is healthier for me, something, you know, that I'm tired of repeating that same old pattern back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you're like, nope, I'm just done, right? The Ice Queen, uh, the Ice Queen is really very much a uh, kind of like a Queen of Swords kind of energy, right? You piss off the Queen of Swords and uh, it's exactly the same thing, right? She'll turn your back, turn her back on you and really uh, cut you down. Okay, if uh, if you push a little bit too far to push your boundaries. Okay, so um, that ice queen energy there again. You're not you're not talking, and you really with um, whenever we get figures that face uh, face to the right, face forward. Okay, this is about leaving the past completely behind, right? Cutting that energy on completely off. Okay, so um, even if again, even if someone does uh, try and come back, try and um, you know find. Uh, you know, try and wheedle their way back into your life. Okay, uh, it, it's you're not we are not exactly uh, getting the warm and fuzzies off of that energy. Okay, so again, it'll be um, if you do talk, if you are open, it's really to get that closure um, with that uh, with that judgment energy there. Okay, we have fair mail, travel, and fun times. Okay, I'm loving this energy for you. All right, so. Uh, for some of you, you've got uh, fair mail 
um, coming in here. So this does not have to be a male per se. Okay, it can be someone with a very masculine energy. But in this particular deck, uh, it's very, very specific about um, uh, about um, descriptions of people. Sorry. Okay. And uh, with the fair male, this is somebody uh, fair skin, fair eyes, fair hair. So blonde, red, light brown, that kind of thing. Um, blue, uh, blue eyes, green eyes, hazel, uh, something along those lines. Okay. Uh, this can be a, um, uh, doesn't have to be again, a male, it can be someone with a very uh, heavy masculine energy, right? It's really all about the energy more than anything. Okay. So, um, uh, and again, this can be someone of any age, okay, so, but somebody brand new coming into your life, and um, uh, yeah, it's uh, new love coming in, so I'm just going to clarify, because this Ice Queen can actually also represent uh, somebody new coming in, but I'm actually feeling more that this is uh, kind of your energy turning your back on the past, so let's just clarify this fair male and see what this is all about, clarify this fair male for me. Ooh. Nine of Wands in reverse is coming out there. What else do we need to know? <laughs> Thank you. All right, we have the Chariot and get one more. And we have the Hanged Man. Okay. <clears throat> so, Chariot energy, okay. There's your energy right there, okay? So this could be another uh, another Cancerian, okay? This, uh, for some of you, this can actually also represent you, but I am feeling more that this is new energy coming on in, okay? The Nine of Wands in reverse, okay? They have been, uh, they have been in, um, uh, they're about to give up, okay? They're about to give up. They've been on quite the journey, okay? And the Nine of Wands is usually, uh, it's the Wounded Warrior card, okay? So, in the upright, it's the wounded warrior card, right? Someone being very, um, have been through a lot of battles, a lot of ups and downs, and, uh, you know, they put up a bit of a wall, put up a bit of a boundary, but still determined to continue to move forward. When we have the nine of wands in reverse, it's kind of stuck energy. Okay, sometimes this can be uh, some doubt, okay? Like, almost like that, um, <clears throat> almost like that, uh, I, I want to move forward, but I can't, okay? I need, you know, uh, some sort of, there's some anxiety and some fear around that. Okay. Um, you know, but it feels as though they are going to persevere. They are going to move forward. The chariot really overrules that nine of wands energy. So this is really spirit coming in. It feels as though where their, um, drive determination has, um, taken a beating. Okay. They may have been doing some spiritual healing. Okay. Um, they may have also, um, been cutting some ties with the past. Okay. And here comes the chariot to help them out. Um, give them a boost of self-confidence. Okay. Um, but really get their energies in alignment and it kind of rekindles that drive determination, that passion that drives them forward. Okay. That moves them forward to the future and gives them that, um, it, it feels, give them that self-confidence boost that they need. Okay. And, uh, the hanged man energy coming out with it. Uh, they've been waiting for a talk about opposing energies, right? Um, you know, we have the chariot, which is moving forward with speed, success, victory. Okay. And then we have the hanged man, which is like pause and surrender. And so, <clears throat> so what it feels like here is there's still, uh, excuse me, still a bit of hesitation. Okay. To really, um, throw caution to the wind and move forward. Okay. And it might just be a little bit of fear, right? They may have been through, um, they may have been through, um, you know, quite a few ups and downs, some broken, uh, broken hearts, broken relationships along the way. Okay. So it feels as though before they really get on board and really start to, um, uh, make forward movement, take action. Okay. They're really going to just, um, you know, pause and, uh, do a gut check. Okay. Uh, do a gut check, make sure that, um, you know, what their, the messages that they receive are really, uh, true. Okay. And that they're really on that right path. Okay. The hanged man can also represent, uh, surrender. <clears throat> okay. So where spirits trying to put this, push this person forward to take some sort of action. Okay. To, uh, to really get things moving, get things going. Um, uh, it, it feels as though, you know, they're still kind of scared, but with that hanged man, it's, it's surrender energy. So it's almost like throw your hands up in the air and say, okay, I'm just going to do what you want. I'm just going to 
allow um, allow the energies to unfold as they're meant to and it's uh, no resistance left with that hanged man energy okay it's like do as you will their spirit okay whatever whatever shall be shall be okay que sera sera all right and so um you know so it feels as though you know there's a little bit of a stop and start with that okay um but um i'm feeling for some of you that this may actually be um part of that um part of that judgment energy that we have there where um, you know, you may already know this person, they may already be in your social circle somewhere, perhaps an acquaintance that, you know, you, they may have been kind of around you for quite some time and they may have actually, um, uh, really wanted to, uh, start something with you or, um, you know, kind of get you alone, um, with that energy. And, uh, it feels as though the circumstances haven't been quite right. Um, especially, uh, with that ice queen energy, um, they may, uh, <laughs> you may intimidate them a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, you may, uh, you know, you may just, you may not, um, exude the energy that you're open and welcome to new love, right? Cause you may have been doing some healing. You may have been putting your own past behind you. Okay. And you know, perhaps you just haven't been, you know, quite honestly, perhaps you just haven't been in the mood. Okay. And, uh, you know, but, um, you know, but now we're starting to see those energies shift because, you know, look at all the new that is here for you. Okay, so we do have travel as well coming up here. So for some of you, uh, you for some of you, you may be going on some sort of trip, some sort of an event adventure. Okay, this can be where you meet a brand new person coming in. Uh, this could also be where you have, we had that with that fool energy there, we had um, uh, a short term relationship a little fun short-term fling okay some of you may be going on vacation okay and you might have some uh some sort of uh, again kind of like that summer romance um really uh really is is uh, coming back in there for me so um you know summer doesn't necessarily have to be summer i guess depends where you are in the world okay but uh like hot and sunny like something where you're in shorts and t-shirts flip-flops all day you know <clears throat> um having drinks at the bar, frolicking in the pool, the beach, uh, something along those lines. Okay. Something, uh, uh, cause I'm getting very hot. Okay. So, uh, somewhere warm and sunny. Okay. And it's about time, right? Cause it's been a long, cold, dreary winter for a lot of people. So it feels as though for some of you, you might just have like a little vacation romance and it's almost as like, that's the energy. That's the medicine that you need to really bump you out of that ice queen energy. Okay. And start to warm you up. Okay, warm you up a little bit, um, defrost you, so to speak. All right. Um, now, for some, for some others, you may actually be relocating. Okay, you may be relocating into um, another, uh, another city, another uh, country, even. Okay, um, <clears throat> but there is some sort of travel there involved. Now, some of you may also just have a weekend getaway with your friends. Um, but there's a lot of fun times ahead for you here. I love this energy. Okay. So some of you again are not necessarily looking for anything long term. Okay. Um, especially again with that fool energy coming out twice, right? Some of you are just looking to, um, be footloose and fancy free, have some fun, have some flings, have some passionate encounters perhaps. Right. And you know, the funny thing is, is that when we, <clears throat> when we kind of, spirit works in funny ways when we <clears throat> stop focusing on um when we stop focusing on trying to attract something specific and we just decide you know what i'm not really looking for love anymore i'm not looking for a long-term relationship i just want to have fun and sometimes when we shift out of that energy okay because some of you may have been trying to manifest something for a long time and now you may have just kind of given up um but sometimes when we do that we actually, our intentions, okay, are still, still stay out in the universe. And, you know, we actually relinquish control of the outcome and that's where the energy starts to flow. Okay. So it feels as though once you kind of throw caution to the wind, okay, that case sera, sera energy, whatever will be, will be. Okay. And it feels as though as soon as you do that, bam, that's when something comes in for you. That's when things start to happen. That's when things start to shift because you know, you're know you just you're just having fun and you're emitting such positive vibes out into the universe. Um, you know, that's just, you know, like attracts like, right? So 
fun, positivity, joy, happiness. Okay, that's exactly what you attract right on back to you. So, um, you know, and again, like I said, some of you are just looking to have some fun, right? Interesting that it comes out um, right with that uh, travel card there for you. Okay, so, uh, you know, again, some of you are just, some of you are going to have one hell of a vacation, let me tell you. So, um, you know, you've been waiting a long time to go on vacation and uh, you deserve it okay you absolutely do so let's see wow what else we've got coming out Jeez, what else we've got coming out for you your cards are lively today all right we've got give your relationship a chance honeymoon <laughs> worth waiting for we also have and what else do we have coming out for you what else does cancer need to know please you love please Woo. okay we have children and we have stay optimistic about your love life okay so give your relationship a chance now I'm gonna pull a card on this one because you know again it's uh, you work on your partnership so the thing is is that um, Quite often with this particular card, it, it really is uh, sometimes about reconciliation. Okay, work on your partnership. So, you know, we, we've also, we've already had like the Ice Queen and, you know, the brand new coming out with that judgment card here. So, and of course, there's a lot of people watching, right? So there's a lot of different messages that uh, come along. Whoops. And, uh, you know, of course, we do have judgment there, which is uh, an overarching energy of uh, forgiveness, healing, reconciliation. So for some of you, you may, this may still be an energy of, you know, someone coming back, um, you know, but again, that, that with that ice queen there, I'm not really sure. And so let's see what else we've got. Uh, clarify, give your relationship a chance, please, because this could also be, um, you know, like you or, you know, like a friendship. Okay. So clarify, give your relationship a chance. That's a lot. Okay. No, we're not taking all those. All right. Let's just, there we go. That's a little bit better. Temperance in reverse, seven of pentacles and the ace of cups. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. So with temperance in the reverse here, okay, yeah, this is, um, uh, temperance is Sagittarian energy, okay, but with temperance being in the reverse, usually it's about peace and harmony and all that, okay, but with it being in reverse, there's a lot of disharmony, conflicting emotions, um, not being on the same page, um, and certainly in a separation, okay, but it feels as though this person, um, they they may not have done well they may have done some work because we do have the ace of cups here okay but it feels as though they're still a little bit off kilter but they've thought long and long and long and long and long and hard okay about um about you about your relationship um you know and uh they it's almost like they've you know, kind of come up with uh, some sort of strategic plan to kind of get you back in their life, okay? Um, and, you know, they they do actually have a genuine offer of love for you here with this Ace, Ace of Cups. Um, you know, they're very open. Um, you know, it feels as though they may... they may have given it the old college try to change their ways, okay? Um, because the, the Ace of Cups, I mean, the Aces, you know, again, are gifts from spirit, the Ace of Cups, which is coming out the second time. All right. Um, you know, don't discount that, right? Uh, two Ace of Cups are quite significant. Um, but, uh, it feels as though they've, they've really gone away to, uh, think about things. Okay. Um, they want to heal. Okay. They want to heal this relationship with you. Right. And they do have this genuine offer. Um, you know, and Spirit says here for some of you that you may want to work on this. You may want to restore the balance and peace and harmony with this with this person. Now, the thing is, is this, this is coming out right under the Ice Queen, okay? So, for some of you, yes, you may actually welcome this person back, okay? And it feels as though they've really, really taken a long time out to think about things, to try and figure out what they want out of life, what they want out of you, because we do have the Empress here as well, fertility and family. And if you, you know, perhaps part of your uh, discord was about, um, was about your plans for the future. 
okay but it feels they thought about it long and hard and they want to restore that peace love balance with you they want to heal this connection okay and with that seven of pentacles showing up right in the middle you know the thing is it feels as though they're very sincere so you may be dealing with a sagittarius or someone with a sagittarius placement okay but um you know it's it's a genuine offer um now again with that ice queen energy and this this is that first card and it's right underneath the ice queen okay some of you may turn this down okay some of you may turn your back on this connection and you may have you know because you may have been going through the ringer and up and down and round and round and circles and circles for quite some time okay with this person and you might just turn around and say no you know what you've had your chance um, I've been through this with you a million times okay I'm going to forgive you and move on okay because I'm looking forward to something brand new all right um, for others of you you may find that forgiveness reconciliation in your heart and you may actually give them one more chance because there is love there okay and especially if they have done some growth with that seven of pentacles it's uh it's a growth period as well right nurturing a nurturing time and uh so some of you may actually welcome that and that ace of cups there that can be them giving you a new love with a new perspective and um you know commitment energy okay because that ace of cups can lead towards uh, marriage and for some of you children okay um, and we're not going to discount the fact that the next card out is honeymoon okay so now you may already be married to this person you may have had a broken engagement all right and um, uh, you know or they're going to come or they're coming back to you to um, you know with a you know with a um, uh, with a proposal okay of some sort all right and this may send you on into honeymoon mode okay um, honeymoon enjoy this bliss of holiday time together okay so some of you again uh, that vacation that travel energy some of you um, you know may have uh, you know may have a romance while you're traveling okay this is uh, Venice in that uh, in that deck if you've never been to Venice oh it's actually uh, so wonderful try not to go in August though <laughs> um and whatever you do stay off the beaten path there's so many little nooks and crannies to explore in venice it's so much fun anyway um but some of you as well this honeymoon energy can be about that person coming back in with a proposal of some sort for you okay and now you enter a, a brand new honeymoon phase okay you may actually end up going away together okay to get some time alone and uh, and to work on things okay so um, you know both of those energies coming out with that honeymoon card okay but there is certainly uh, a very prevailing message here that some of you are going on vacation or traveling um, you know some sort of travel of some sort we also have worth waiting for so divine timing is at work in your love life okay talk about divine timing here right again right back to that judgment energy okay welcoming in the new so where you've been feeling as though things aren't happening for you fast enough okay there is something new coming in here and something that is very very positive and you've been waiting such a long time okay and you know you're probably looking at that going um yeah hallelujah okay <laughs> um it's about freaking time so let's just clarify worth waiting for who is worth waiting for and we have the seven of swords coming out there the king of cups there we go and the higher fan coming out there as well okay i really do uh, okay i do have to say someone's gonna come in and steal your heart okay in a very positive way now okay now i do have i do have to say the seven of swords is not typically an energy of um uh there's multiple uh, there's always multiple layers to every single card we could actually have an hour-long conversation just about one card okay but with the seven of swords seven of swords can be like theft betrayal okay um but i i'm feeling prevailing energy over here the seven of swords with this coming of cups that someone is going to steal your heart okay but in a very positive way 
okay very positive way the king of cups oh such a wonderful energy okay it's a very healing energy one of romance love um, a spiritual connection right again divine timing okay and uh, it feels as though something um, that you have given up on okay you may have left a dream behind because the seven of swords can sometimes be about um, you know uh, moving forward and leaving behind negativity and only taking with you what works okay um, you know there's multiple other energies here but I'm prevailing energy here very very strong someone is going to come in and sweep you off your feet steal your heart is is absolutely that energy and it's something very divinely guided something that puts you on the path to higher level commitment to um, perhaps marriage okay and again we do have that honeymoon energy the hierophant um, uh, the hierophant with the king of cups true love okay true love and it's it I'm really getting that sweep you off your feet energy and of course if this is what is coming out as part of divine timing okay this is spiritually guided spiritual connection and that king of cups not only is that energy full of love and romance okay it's also full of a lot of soul and spirituality healing okay allows you to move on as well with that seven of swords move on from anything that has uh, not served you well uh, leave you um, move you forward out of uh, any kind of uh, negative ways of thinking okay um, any kind of fear or doubt okay because that king of cups is very honest and pure energy especially with that hierophant so um, you know very spiritually guided here and with that hierophant it's, it, it is the it is known as the marriage card okay um, so it feels as though you know there really is um, a very spiritual high level connection coming in here exactly what you have been waiting for for a very very long time okay the hierophant is a Taurus energy okay it may be a Taurus or someone with with that uh, in their in their chart in their placement somewhere and of course King of Cups is water sign energy as well okay Cancer Scorpio Pisces so maybe dealing with um, you know with someone of those uh, associations as well okay but uh, really really getting a sweep you off your feet energy okay you know what like like carry you away just yeah um, very 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 loving energy that's coming out of there okay um, wow <laughs> very exciting okay really very exciting uh, we have children coming out for you here as well okay so your love life is being affected by children either you may have you may have children okay um, your uh, person coming in may have children as well okay um, uh, or you have a higher level of commitment on the mind that can lead towards uh, children especially that Empress card there right fertility and family okay so um, you know there are children either coming into your life or playing a part in your um, in your love life right now in the decisions that you make um, and quite and um, uh, how you approach love as well okay so uh, children really do uh, come into your life in some way shape or form and then we have a reminder from spirit here to stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so whatever whatever you think about you bring about with that energy there okay so um, if you have uh, been starting to go down that little dark rabbit hole of uh, doubt negativity um, you know about to give up right you're like ugh, forget it I'm giving up on love I'm just gonna go out and have some fun and then there's that uh, there's that reminder from spirit there mm, stay optimistic because we've got something brand new coming in here for you okay something that really does lead you on a higher path there so I'm just going to thank you get your details here so how am I receiving this okay so we've got the page of fire which one first okay the chariot and the ten of water okay so you are rip roaring ready to go with this page of fire energy okay you're uh you know you're 
putting yourself out there, you're, you're opening yourself up. The pages quite often do bring news, bring messages, but they're also represent a very youthful spirit. Okay, regardless of your age, okay, age has nothing to do with it. It's all about your energy. Okay, so you're full of passion, fire, vigor. Um, a sense of adventure comes out here with the page of fire. Okay, um, it's a time of exploration. It's a time of putting yourself out there. Um, trusting yourself as well okay and um, you know really following your guided path you know we do have uh, I've actually never noticed it before oddly enough we do have a little white tiger right down here okay so um, you know that really brings a uh, white uh, white really brings about um, uh, peace innocence okay some innocence there but um, but not not like not like really child innocence there's also a strength and a power behind that right some endurance energy coming out there so um, you know it really is uh, pushing you forward there's the moon right behind there as well okay so uh, some very intuitive um, spiritual forces at work with that page of fire but you're so full of passion and so full of vigor and it's like that zest for life kind of energy okay and we've got the chariot coming out here for you again so this is the second time that we've had the chariot come out so you are your energy your card is making an appearance twice already okay so we've already had uh, the seven of swords come out too so three seven 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 okay quite significant but also the dual energy of the chariot so this is really spirit reminding you that you hold you hold the reins of your destiny okay the chariot is speed success victory moving moving towards your destiny okay you're being guided you're being directed here okay and i love the fact this is your row here okay this is your energy all right and with that fair male that chariot also came out there as well so very matching energy okay really do love that so uh some of you may have that cancerian coming in or someone in that placement okay um if not okay if not you're both actually just emitting the same it's like you're in the right place the right time the same page okay you're very much on that same page and you're moving forward right leaving that past behind okay looking forward to something brand new okay and you know with your <clears throat> you are on the path to peace happiness the ten of water ten of cups energy happiest energy in the entire deck right uh, other than the Sun um, emotional contentment um, just I mean look how happy this I think it's a Buddha um, anyways look how happy that uh, that statue is there right like you know it's just you look at that face and you just really want to smile right really does warm your heart and that's what you're on the path to you're on the path to peace peace love happiness emotional fulfillment emotional contentment okay this is the big 10 it's the big one okay and uh you know this is where you're headed where you're driving towards okay so um you know it really is whether you uh you know have someone or not okay it feels as though you're very much at peace with yourself okay and and again we do have uh we do have new coming in there too um but it feels as though you have done a lot of personal healing and growth and it feels as though you are very very comfortable in your own skin okay very important all right we have the eight of air this is your person okay how are we receiving this one okay those two together and those two together okay so what do we have here so we have the eight of air so they are actively trying to leave behind any kind of fear or doubt uh the eight of air is so the eight of air is related to the eight of swords okay and the eight of swords is usually about negative ways of thinking self-imposed restriction okay all that kind of stuff right fear of moving forward okay um in this eight of air this is really some spiritual guidance rising above any kind of fear doubt negativity uh self-sabotage okay really finding the peace in that situation and letting anything negative really fall away so your person coming towards you has really done a lot of work themselves as well okay they've really done a lot of personal growth a lot of personal healing right so that they themselves can move forward <clears throat> messenger of water and the eight of water okay they're going to reach out to you 
okay they have you in your in their sites the messenger of water that's the knight of cups energy okay they um you know they uh, have genuine offer of love in their heart this allows um this you know they're looking forward to the future they have left their past behind them as well okay they've you know they've done some emotional healing they've been through a lot of emotional growth some spiritual growth okay and they are looking forward to that new future right there this chest of treasure they're not looking at it anymore right they're like no i know what's inside i don't need that anymore it really doesn't serve me anymore and i need something brand new i need something fresh um you know waiting for your ships to come in walking towards that new opportunity right to the the rise of a new dawn and with this messenger of water they have genuine offer of love commitment okay and in this deck i love this because we do have a seahorse there's quite a few seahorses in the the water um energies in this deck and seahorses are um a commitment energy okay so for some a lifelong commitment there okay it's also um you know a um i think seahorses mate for life okay as far as my understanding i may be wrong but uh anyways to me in this deck that's what they mean all right but uh someone who really has some commitment okay and they want to move towards the future they see a future with you <clears throat> okay most importantly right they see a future with you and they're going to take some action the eight of water is about taking some action and the messenger of water absolutely is taking action as well okay so they are taking an act active action to find something new to move towards you okay so again some of you that could be that person coming back i feel that's for very few of you okay um uh <clears throat> Um, but for the ones where that is you and they do have that genuine offer of love and they've, you know, it looks like they have done, they have done a lot of self work. Okay. They have, they have really, um, really given it the old college try. Okay. And, uh, you know, and again, they're, they're reaching back out to you because this messenger of water, um, <clears throat> sometimes for me, for the West messenger of water, yes, it can represent something new, but it can also represent somebody Quite often I get that uh, with engagements, okay, and, uh, you know, very, uh, very matching energy to that, give your relationship a chance, because I was getting there that uh, someone may come back, okay, with commitment, okay, an offer of commitment, they may have had commitment issues in the past, all right, but now they're ready, okay, they're open, they're ready, they have released any kind of uh, negativity or doubt around that, okay, and they're going to take action on that, okay, but for the rest of you, I feel that's someone very brand new. Okay, very brand new, <clears throat> excuse me, that is coming in with that genuine offer of new love. They're very solid, they're very stable, okay, king of earth energy here, okay, so um, uh, earth sign energy, Capricorn, Tur Taurus, and Virgo, and I think we already had Taurus coming out uh, as well with that Hierophant. Okay, so um, some of you, again, you may be, you may, this person may have Taurus placements, okay, but they are very, very solid, stable, and grounded. They may have focused on their career <clears throat> rather than love with the King of Earth, because the King of Earth comes with a lot of abundance, a lot of success, a lot of wisdom, okay, but it feels as though, you know, they, um, they're very mature, they know what they want, okay, um, you know, and they're, you know, even though they're very stable and grounded, okay, and they're, um, you know, uh, very, um, very practical, okay, they still have, a, they have a very open heart, okay, it feels like they have a very open heart, and they are offering that to you, okay, um, this, they are not conflicted anymore, okay, you see this, see this difference in this energy, we've got the aid of air, okay, so where they have felt, um, you know, uh, fear, doubt, okay, where, and they've, you know, taken active steps to let it go. They are no longer conflicted either. The five of air can quite often be about uh, conflict, okay, um, in this one here, they've risen above that, okay, they have left their fear and doubt completely behind. They are absolutely sure what they want out of life and what they want to move forward with, okay, and anything that doesn't serve them, they are gracefully rising above that, okay? So um, it feels as though their uh, their communication is um, very, very positive, okay? And it really feels as though, again, they know what they want and they speak up, they speak their mind, okay? And, you know, again, it feels what they want is you. 
So, I'm just, wow, okay. Your cards are really jumping today, so. <clears throat> so your outcome energy, uh, don't mind me if I flip these over because there are no reversals in this particular deck, okay? Um, we've got this seven of water, ah, okay. The page of earth and the queen of water. Wow, this outcome row, this is your connection, okay? This is you two, your, you and your person coming in together, okay? This is the, uh, the outcome energy of the connection. Okay, the seven of water. Okay, this is uh, uh, a daydream energy, right? One of fantasies, right? Lots of choices coming in. And the message behind the seven of water is always follow your heart and uh, you will make the right choice. And this is really, okay, uh, I love it. Um, because this is really with the seven of water coming into the page of earth. The page of earth is the first signs of prosperity, the first signs of tra uh, tangible success. Okay. But this is also dreams becoming rooted in reality. So in this seven of water, this is about imagination, about dreams. This is like whatever you've dreamed about now comes about. Okay. Um, it turns from fantasy into reality. Okay. So again, divine timing is really at work. This is guided towards you. This is something that really has a chance to take off okay and to be successful the page of earth can also be about the first tangible signs of success the seven of water um in this deck as well as a co-creative energy so co-creating with spirit with your person again dreams turning right into reality there with that page of earth okay love that um and you know we turn into the queen of water okay now we did all already have the king of cups coming out okay um you know that steal your heart energy with that divine timing the worth waiting for and now we've got the queen of water as well so it feels as though this is a soulmate coming in for some of you okay it's divinely guided okay and with this queen of water it's a healing energy it's a loving energy one of uh long-term commitment Okay, very long-term commitment coming in here for some of you. Okay, but this allows you to heal, to grow, to envision um, a better future. Okay, that that happiness there. Okay, and um, you know it's I, I I really love how this has worked out for you because you know your uh, your energy up here, uh, what you're working towards, what you're moving towards is that ten of water, right? Ultimate happiness right? With this king of earth, right? Something grounded in reality, something that um, really uh, can grow, uh, grow roots, okay? Grow roots and move you forward. And then something that is filled with love, filled with compassion, filled with spiritual growth, spiritual healing as well, okay? Love that queen of water, right? Very, uh, lots of commitment uh, coming here, right? So I really do, I really do love that energy for, ooh, for you okay so I'm gonna leave that there because yeah I really like that all right really like that for you so let's leave that there but let's close out your reading here with a couple of heart and soul cards so what else does cancer need to know I actually like all of the water energy that's coming out in your um uh, in your, your reading and especially your outcome row, because of course, you know, um, the water element, okay. Uh, the cups element, right. Uh, lots of emotions. Okay. For sure. But with that little healthy dose of grounding energy, okay. Kind of like, you know, you, you may feel like your, your head is floating in the clouds and that you're awash with emotion. Right. But then there's that little bit of grounding reality check there for you as well. <clears throat> so, well, thank you. Okay, so we have, there's your, one of your cards. Oh, look at all the hearts floating around there. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you know what? I have never noticed that before. I just got drawn to your hearts and I don't usually count hearts on this deck, but seven hearts there and with that seven of water. Okay, so uh, again, that sevens, those sevens making an appearance again. So seven feels very important in your reading. Okay, we had two chariots, both sevens, with the uh, seven of uh, swords come out there as well, and that seven of water. Okay, so four sevens, and then we've got seven hearts in this card. So um, sign, symbol, synchronicities, okay? There's no coincidences, all right? So sevens are very prevalent somehow in your reading. 
Okay, so this card says, a beautiful inspired idea floats through pathways of light, waiting for the right moment to enter your mind and heart. This wonderful idea that stems from your soul will grow and blossom if you nurture it. Keep it safe within your inner world until it is ready to manifest in your outer world. Yes. A period of great fulfillment and accomplishment follows. I love that. Love that. And there's your next card. I actually love that boat sailing into the sunset there. Okay. Um, you know, again, boat sailing into the sunset. Look at that. So, uh, are you feeling a little lost and confused, wondering which direction, if any, to take and questioning what is it, what it is that you really want from life? Perhaps it's time to consult your inner child, you know, the one you've kept locked away for ages, the one who holds the essence of the real you. Isn't it time to listen to your heart, right? Listen to your heart, very prevalent. Seven of water, right? We had that coming out a couple of times and that main message with the seven of water is listen to your heart, follow your heart, right? Um, so very important again right back to those sevens okay very important in your reading today all right so I'm gonna leave that there for you guys okay I know there's a lot of different messages coming out here so hopefully there was something that resonated something that gave you some inspiration guidance move forward okay um, uh, hopefully the whole reading resonated with you that would be awesome but usually it's uh, like little bar parts of it okay so but if so please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me a comment let me know how things are working out for you okay Okay, and um, I truly do wish you the most wonderful April ahead. Okay, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.